Nothing exists except atoms and empty space. Everything else is opinion. Happiness resides not in possessions and not in gold. Happiness dwells in the soul. Everywhere man blames nature and fate, yet his fate is mostly but the echo of his character and passion, his mistakes and his weaknesses. The wise man belongs to all countries, for the home of a great soul is the whole world. Nature and education are somewhat similar, the latter transforms man, and in so doing creates a second nature. By desiring little, a poor man makes himself rich. The brave man is he, who overcomes not only his enemies, but his pleasures. Everything existing in the universe is the fruit of chance and necessity. The word is the shadow of the deed. Sweet exists by convention, bitter by convention, color by convention, but in reality atoms in the void alone exist. It is hard to fight desire, but to control it is the sign of a reasonable man. Envy is the cause of political division. We know nothing in reality, for truth lies in an abyss. Magnanimity consists in enduring tactlessness with mildness. The wise man's home is the universe. Good means not merely not to do wrong, but rather not to desire to do wrong. Many much learned men have no intelligence. According to convention there is a sweet and a bitter, a hot and a cold, and according to convention, there is an order, in truth, there are atoms and a void. Throw moderation to the winds, and the greatest pleasures bring the greatest pains. I would rather discover one true cause, than gain the kingdom of Persia. Sexual intercourse is a slight attack of apoplexy. Soul and intellect are just the same things. Men should strive to think much and know little. There are some men who are masters of cities but slaves to women. The wrongdoer is more unfortunate than the man wronged. The pride of youth is in strength and beauty, the pride of old age is in discretion. Medicine heals diseases of the body, wisdom frees the soul from passions. The man enslaved to wealth can never be honest. To a wise man, 
the whole earth is open, for the native land of a good soul is the whole earth. It is greed to do all the talking, but not to want to listen at all. No power and no treasure can outweigh the extension of our knowledge. If you would know contentment, let your deeds be few. Poor mind, from the senses you take your arguments, and then want to defeat them, your victory is your defeat. All things happen by virtue of necessity. It is better to destroy one's own errors than those of others. If your desires are not great, a little will seem much to you, for small appetite makes poverty equivalent to wealth. More men have become great through practice than by nature. The good things of life are produced by learning with hard work, the bad are reaped of their own accord without hard work. A life without festivity is a long road without an inn. Beautiful objects are wrought by study through effort, but ugly things are reaped automatically without toil. Whatever a poet writes with enthusiasm and a divine inspiration is very fine, earliest reference to the madness or divine inspiration of poets. Men have made an idol of luck as an excuse for their own thoughtlessness. Immoderate desire is the mark of a child, not a man. It is godlike ever to think on something beautiful and on something new. The whole earth is at the hand of the wise man, since the fatherland of an elevated soul is the universe. Education is an ornament for the prosperous, a refuge for the unfortunate. Our sins are more easily remembered than our good deeds. Hope of ill gain is the beginning of loss. Happiness does not reside in strength or money, it lies in rightness and many-sidedness. If thou suffer injustice, console thyself, the true unhappiness is in doing it. Do not trust all men, but trust men of worth. The former course is silly, the latter a mark of prudence. Virtue isn't not wronging others, but not wishing to wrong others. To a wise man, the whole earth is open because the country of a virtuous soul is the entire universe. The sweetest things become the most bitter by excess. One should practice much sense, not much learning. The first principles of the universe are atoms, and empty space, everything else is merely thought to exist, 